And if you want, you can grab up here. This is a type of a treadmill, but it uh, allows us to make the patient weightless. So as they do their exercise program, they do not have to put weight or can put partial weight on the lower extremity involved in the surgery. This should allow them to get rehabilitation done much quicker with significantly less pain. The start of the it's a NASA-developed technology, uh, developing methodology for keeping people's muscles and bones strong in space. They have developed a technology that's now potentially commercialized so that we can use it for patients who are undergoing lower extremity reconstruction, be a sports medicine patient with an anterior cruciate ligament the surgery or specifically for patients with total joint replacements. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, 4.5. The uh, electronic knee, or the E-knee as we call it, is the world's first smart knee replacement uh, that has uh, sensors inside the knee and a computer chip. What the computer chip does is that it actually monitors the loads inside the knee. So when you're walking, exercising, climbing stairs, playing golf, tennis, skiing, it knows uh, what forces you're putting inside the knee. So we know what the artificial prosthesis, the, uh, the stress and strain, the wear and tear that's going on inside this artificial prosthesis. 30. This is real data in real time in live patients. And many patients will, following surgery, only be able, capable to have a portion of their body weight while they're ambulating. And this device allows us to not only rehab the lower extremities, but also cardiovascularly while obtaining it at a lower body weight. Evidence-based practice is very important, so by doing the research and using the treadmill, it allows us to provide that information and show that what we're doing is important, other than, you know, we have something to validate what we're doing. All right.